What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Morrow, and today I am incredibly excited to do this video because this is a very, a very anticipated project for me. Uh, I'm really excited to do this. I have eight different pairs of MMA fight gloves in front of me, and hopefully by the end of this video, we can discuss and decide which promotion in the world has the best fight glove out there in the fight glove design. And this is all stemming really off of this one right here, the UFC fight glove, because a lot of people say that the UFC fight glove is just flawed in design. It makes you want to open your hands and poke eyes, makes your hand hurt or break. You get a lot of hand injuries in the UFC. And although that does happen in other promotions around the world, it's not as publicized as the UFC. A lot of people have said that we really need someone to come in and make the best fight glove design. A lot of people say that we should go back to pride glove design, which unfortunately I don't have a pride glove with me because those are stupid expensive and uh, they're incredibly rare to find, ones that aren't signed and that are ready to be trained with, basically. Uh, so it's virtually impossible to get those. I don't feel like spending five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars for a pair of MMA gloves. I hope you all understand. Uh, but basically this was still a bit of an expensive project. So if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I have eight different pairs of gloves in front of me. They're all still in their plastic wrap. As you can see, every one of these has not been taken out of the bag and that was on purpose. Because if you're fighting Saturday night, basically Friday night, you try them on, wiggle your hand in, commission signs off on them and says, okay, those fit. Saturday night, you get them, you warm up in them, then you go fight and that's basically it so you hit the bags well not bags but mitts maybe you roll with your teammate a little bit pummel with your coach a little bit then you go in and you fight for a max of 25 minutes at most so you're not using these really for a long period of time so we're going to do this whole process by rounds i'm going to start with round number one which is going to be me taking these out of the bag putting them on and uh putting them, um wiggling them around and seeing how they fit basically and how they feel my first impressions basically second round is going to be light use me hitting maybe the bag and rolling with a teammate or something like that uh, and then third round is going to be which one felt the best in that short amount of time and which one and then at the end i guess round number four we could say is how could we make the best mma glove out of all of these basically now there uh were three mma gloves i couldn't get before i tell you which ones i have in front of me the three mma gloves i couldn't get were the rival fight glove which a few promotions use in europe a lot and some use in the united states that was because they had none in my size they had none in l or xl they only had them in small uh and those just won't fit my hand and then and CFFC and LFA are two uh, promotions that are actually aired on UFC Fight Pass or regional promotions here in the United States, but you kind of had to order those gloves in bulk, and I didn't really have a need to order 20 different pairs of MMA gloves. So that sucked. They couldn't get those, uh, but maybe down the line, someone will have a pair of those that they want to send me. But every glove on the table just about is used worldwide in all the major promotions. Uh, so without further ado, let's introduce the gloves, starting with number one. This is produced by Diaco and Spirit uh, Combat Athletics. They're the distributor for the UFC now. So this is the UFC Fight Glove, which they also call the Ultimate Combat. Uh, and then they, that's made by Diaco now. Uh, you got Isami, which makes Ryzen. Uh, that's the Ryzen Fight Glove. I forgot that the PFL goes through Century now, but I figured why not, it wouldn't hurt. So I got the Fuji version, and then I got the uh, Century version. Uh, so we got two different versions of the PFL glove. Then we got the really popular Everlast Powerlock MMA glove, which is used by Bellator. It's also used by promotions like Titan FC, CES in the United States, and a lot of other uh, promotions around the world use the Everlast Powerlock. Then we have the FGV12 by Fairtex, which is used for 1FC. It's also used for a lot of promotions in Brazil and Europe, like Cage Warriors, which is in uh, Britain, I believe. Uh, Conor McGregor fought for Cage Warriors. So did Patty Pimblett. Anyway, uh, then Owano, actually, which used to make gloves for the UFC and WEC, which is why I got them in WEC Blue. They made them for UFC, WEC, Strike Force back in the day. They still make them from King of the Cage. And then we also have the Leone Contest Gloves, which Bellator uses as well. It's weird. I don't know why Bellator uses two gloves, but I even messaged uh, Leone, and they do use them primarily for European events. And they also made the special edition, uh, the white gloves that they use for the uh, light heavyweight Grand Prix. So that's really cool. But without further ado let's start taking these out and get the first impression on each fight glove here 
All right, so let's start with the glove that really started the whole debate in the whole entire world, and that is the UFC Fight Glove. This is made by Diaco, and uh, it's sold by Spirit FC, or not Spirit FC, Spirit Combat Sports, I think it's called. And I bought these uh, from uh, UFC.com, actually. This is the official UFC Fight Glove, as you can see, and this is still in the wrap here that they send it to. Uh, so let's go ahead and take these out. I'll post the link in the description below where you can get all these. But okay, so these are still in the plastic wrap. As you can see, I'll roll my sleeves up. And let's try these on. Well, first off, off the bat, they're actually a bit softer than I think they would be, but they're still kind of stiff. Granted, they are fight gloves. But, ooh, those smell really nice, actually. Uh, first thing that I noticed that they smell nice, uh, you got a little disclaimer here, probably just saying, terms and conditions it's basically you know hey this is a dangerous piece of equipment be careful with it <clears throat> so let's see i got a uh, double xl to see if they fit my hand right off the bat i can tell you that they use gel which is really weird for a fight glove you wouldn't really use gel for a fight glove because gel kind of retains the shape all the time so now i kind of get what people mean when they say that their fingers open these used to be made by century and it wasn't quite as soft as this but it is still kind of stiff a little bit. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. But let's try them on. All right. So let's see. So we got a double wrist strap here that opens. And that's, oh. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so put that on right here. I really don't like that, all right? Because I thought people would maybe be overreacting, but they're not kidding. Look how my fingers like arch forward like that. And closing my hand right off the bat is a pain. Man, and here's the thing, you gotta put hand wraps underneath these. There's enough room to do that, but it's really like the finger compartment is stiff. But the knuckle padding, when I close my fist, gets harder almost. So it's soft here, and now it gets tighter when I close my fist, that's weird. There's virtually no wrist support. Look how much floppiness you got here in the wrist. It's like if you come here, there's like nothing barring the wrist. Like, this is what your wrist is on here. Look up. You have zero support. That's a really flappy wrist, and I don't like that at all. Um, they smell nice. It's definitely a high-quality leather, which is good. Um, you know, the gloves alone basically cost 100 to 120 bucks if you go off the website. Um, do I think they're worth that? No. I think there's a lot of other gloves out there. But for first impressions off the bat, the wrist support sucks. The mobility of my palm is nice, but closing these... It's kind of weird. It's not comfortable. And, and I'm really squeezing. I'm stressing to squeeze. And whenever you stress to squeeze, that hurt. Like alone, that actually hurt my hand and it shocked down to my wrist. So the wrist support and the knuckle support isn't good. So I can see why you'd really want a nice guy to wrap your hands. Uh, I would put more padding in the wrist right off the bat is the first thing I'd do. And I'd be scared to hit the mitts with these uh, unless I wrap my hands really. Uh, but the other thing that I noticed is that they have a lot of padding up on the fingers, like here, which would make it hard to get your fingers through. So it doesn't bend that easy. It makes your hand open. So I really thought that was going to be a myth. And I thought people just blew that out of proportion as an excuse. Uh, no, it really does make your hand open. Let's try the right hand real quick. All right, let's try this on. This is going to be a long video, by the way, but yeah, it's so hard to get my fingers in here, man. Okay. The glove's a good size, too. I got room, but I got really stressed to watch how fast my hand just opens. That's crazy, and it's super stiff. Yeah, I don't know. So far, the UFC Fight Glove, I think some people are right. It kind of sucks. <laughs> it really does kind of suck. The wrist support is what scares me more than the knuckle support. And the gel padding... I don't know. I'd go with more of a high-density foam if I were them, but that's just me. Okay, next up is the 1FC by Fairtex, the FGV12, as it says here on the plastic wrap. Let's open these up and try them on. Now, Fairtex always scares me because they're tie made and usually tie gloves are a lot smaller on Westerners, and I have abnormally large hands compared to some people. Um, right off the bat, it looks smaller. It looks a lot smaller, actually. It's pretty hard. Uh, actually harder than the UFC fight glove again so we're falling into that pattern but you can definitely tell the interior lining is different too from the other two they were like kind of more of a suede this is more of like uh just 
looks like a satin almost. It's like a very soft satin. On the inside though, I can see they're trying to protect my knuckles a little bit more because it's softer on the inside here. The wrist support doesn't look phenomenal. It's still kind of flappy. You know, like the, think about this. This is your wrist beep and it smooshes just like that. Uh, so that's basically the whole idea behind that there. Uh, okay, I like this. They have the little elastic band towards the bottom. So it's easy to keep everything in. So that's convenient. And fit my hand in here. Fingers are a little stiff because it's a full leather finger on the other side too. And then put my thumb through, pull that. Okay. Now this is the biggest size that they sell to. So, um, same thing with the UFC glove. It really makes me want to kind of push my hand forward like this. It's like naturally, it, my fingers are kind of resting downward, but I can assure you, closing my fist is kind of difficult in these. And getting a grip with these is actually kind of weird. I guess if I move them up on my fingers a little more. No, that still feels weird. If I pull down just a bit. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. They're hard. They use different foams. It's not gel, for sure, I can tell that. Uh, it's softer towards the wrist. The wrist supports actually, when you strap this on tight, actually stabilizes you a little bit, but it's still kind of loose around the ends here. You can see it kind of flap up, and I got like space to hook it in, which is not good, so you don't want that to happen. Um, the design's cool, uh, but it actually fits pretty well, and I can actually fit some stuff for hand wraps in here. It's just my fingers still kind of want to do this. And I don't like that. So that's not good. And I also feel like if I don't like curve it a certain way, it doesn't line up my knuckles right. My It makes me want to punch like here towards like the top part of my knuckles where like my door knocking knuckles like that and not my punch knuckles, which are like right here where the Fairtex, where the One logo is across. So, I mean, they're pretty hard uh, and they make me want to do that just like the UFC gloves. So, I mean, not great, uh, not terrible, I think. They're like right on par with the UFC glove and the UFC glove kind of sucks to be honest. So I guess that's not really a compliment. Um, so try the right hand on now. No, it feels exactly the same. Um, would I say they're better than the UFC glove? No. Would I say they're good gloves? Kind of. Would I want to fight in them? No, I'd be worried I'm going to break my hand. Uh, so I definitely would want something a bit softer for one because that's definitely going to break my hand and yeah, the wrist supports a little bit better than the UFC glove, but I just wish it wasn't so kind of floppy towards the bottom here. But I mean, besides that, um, there could be worse options out there, I suppose. So, uh, let's move on to the next glove then. Okay, next I figured we'd go with the Everlast Power Lock because a lot of people use these. Like I said, Bellator uses these. They were really the first ones to say, oh, Bellator has the best fight glove and stuff like that. And I had a pair of these a while ago, but they even changed the design compared to like eight years ago when I first got them. And the big design change is that they used to be kind of flat and they used to flare up, but this, you can actually see, has a bit of a curved knuckle. Uh, first thing I'll say though is that these are hard as hell. It's like a hammer hitting a table. That's that's not good. I think that's a bit too hard. So I'm wondering if I don't know what it is about these right off the bat. They kind of scare me, but they look nice. Uh, let's see, Everlast tag. Just a warning once again, saying, "Hey, dangerous. Don't use without caution." So let's see here. Okay, so we get a small wrist cuff, and it opens like this. And it says C3, uh, C4 foam technology. So that's the same stuff they use for their uh, for their Promex, not Promex. Uh, what are they called? Protex. Sorry, Protex fight gloves and stuff. So it's a good fight glove. It seems like a dense foam core in the center, which when you have a dense foam core means that it's not going to move, but also means that it's going to force your hand in that position a bit too unnaturally. Put my hand in. okay so it fits really well actually and notice here my fingers kind of curved down a little bit so they definitely hit the nail on the head with that they have the little thumb loop here which i actually like so it has a little bit of thumb support and it actually allows your you know your tape kind of to lock it in uh let's go ahead and wrap that i wish they had a little bit of like an elastic support so it didn't so it stretched over like my wrist a little bit better but actually you know what that fits really nice so i take that back um overall yeah that feels not bad okay but it's just super hard i like it's like an unfair advantage of getting hit 
with like a brick in your, in your glove. It's super hard. It's actually harder than the UFC fight glove in the center here. So you definitely want to break this in on the mitts or maybe you don't. Maybe the whole point is to go out and to smash your target. Uh, it feels comfortable. I can actually get a decent grip. I do notice for me, my pinky as I'm gripping here like this, it's a little bit cramped on the pinky area, probably because of how cupped it is towards the end, but it has a really good grip. I'm actually getting decent grips. The wrist support isn't so bad. It's actually better than the UFC Fight Glove, although you wouldn't think it would be because it still kind of flops, but I think it's because this kind of arcs down over the top of the wrist a little bit. But overall, it's not bad. You know, a lot of people use these, like CES, Titan FC, Bellator, of course, use these, and they definitely change the color of the glove. But that is not bad, I tell you. And there's enough room, totally, way more than enough room, uh, to get my full fight wrap. And you want to try and get two fingers in here, and that usually means you can get your fight wrap on. So that's not bad. So let's try the other hand, too, because, you know, sometimes... One hand is a little different from the other. So let's see. It slides on pretty good. And like I said, you kind of have to force your fingers to open up like this, but it's still very possible. If I wanted to poke you in the eye, I can definitely for sure, like naturally it's ha having me draped like this. But if I wanted to look at you and say, hey, boop, and poke you right in the eye, it's that easy. But they're definitely going out of their way to make it not happen. But I don't think with any glove design, honestly, it's impossible to not just poke you so i don't know overall i think these are like way better than the ufc fight glove for sure uh but not too far off um yeah i mean uh not not that they're not too far off i mean but not too far off from other gloves out there that kind of have the same design uh it's actually harder than the ufc fight glove the wrist support's a little bit better i like that velcro strap a little bit more which is crazy uh because the ufc fight strap actually had more but there's definitely more curvature and this might protect your hand a lot more because it feels like that foam core is so dense separating my knuckles from the target but it's just a bit too hard and make it a touch softer uh, but other than that i think these gloves are actually a really good step up okay so we got the leone contest mma gloves and oh wow okay i just realized from the last glove i got a bunch of debris <laughs> so let's get rid of that off my hand um so let's go ahead and open these up these are the contest glove it says gp 115 mma glove velcro okay and these are used by Bellator. Uh, this is when Bellator is in European countries like Italy or, or London, I guess. They use these. Because Leone, if you can't tell by the name, is actually Italian. So. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell by the Italian flag here on the tag, it's Leone 1947. They're very hard off the bat. Most of the gloves that we've taken out today, except for the Ryzen gloves, are super hard in the knuckles. And why would you want a hard glove? But uh, they're kind of virtually... Ooh, they have the neoprene sleeve like Ryzen does. Uh, but they're kind of virtually the power lock with a thinner wrist, actually. So let's try... That leather smells awesome, bro. Oh, that is stiff in the hand wow okay my fingers are super stiff um kind of easy to grip though but let's go ahead and okay um let's restrap that actually so the thumb feels nice in the neoprene it's really hard to get that to strap down isn't it comfortably they basically, I think Leone basically said, well, they're for Bellator and they have the power lock. So let's just basically make a power lock. And that's kind of what it's like. It doesn't naturally curve my fingers down like the power lock. In fact, it's really stiff around my fingers. It's kind of cutting off the circulation to my fingers. And I really don't like that. So I kind of kind of push it down farther here by be hitting with my door knocking knuckles like that. So that's not great um the knuckle padding is ow that actually pulls on my skin i don't like that jesus um that is super hard i really don't like how hard that is let's yank the tag off and put the other one on um they don't slide on all that well compared to the other ones this is an xl so i mean Got them in blue, because I don't know, like the Bellator red looks cool, but I like the Bellator blue look more for some reason. I like that shade of blue. 
decent grips, but it's just my fingers. It's so tight around my fingers, and I don't know why. I wish it wasn't so tight around the fingers, but overall, I mean, like, I can ball my fist pretty easy. Uh, it at least allows me to do that. It's kind of softer towards the back of the hand. The wrist support is kind of garbage, uh, I guess. If I'm here, if I really strap it, but that's kind of hard to do because there's just so much room. If I take this back off and put the strap back on, and it just kind of flops all over the place. Although so it is a much more narrow wrist. And I wonder if that's because they're trying to like ergonomically design it to hug your hand like this, like a blanket. Uh, but it doesn't work all that well. Uh, they, it's not a bad glove. It just needs to be broken in. I have a feeling like if you break it in, it'd be cool. But I mean, if I'm going to fight with these night of, I'm going to be like, wow, I need something either a bigger or something way softer. The linings are basic. Just, just feels like that same like polyester. Um, what's it called? Nylon, uh, polyester nylon, a uh, little bit of kind of like a softer dry fit feel to it. But other than that, it's kind of hard. So Bellator uses these. Uh, actually, the white ones that you can get off bellator.com, uh, you know, they're going for like 130 bucks. So I just figured I'd get the regular ones for like 50. Uh, and they made the white ones for the light heavyweight Grand Prix and the Bantamweight, or I think it was Bantamweight anyway, the Bantamweight Grand Prix or the light, lightweight Grand Prix, one of the two. But uh Overall, these, would I say they're better than the fight gloves that UFC has? I don't know. They're kind of not great either. Okay, so now we got the PFL fight gloves by Century. I also got the Fuji one, but we'll do Century because these are more modern. Now, Century used to make gloves for the UFC, and I'm thinking, oh, they're just going to be the same gloves as the UFC, but uh, not even close, actually. They look more like a traditional like karate glove that turned hybrid. And as you can see, we got the bar going across here open this up nice little elastic not elastic but uh, velcro straps down here there's a little tag there and it says what's that say smart cage oh okay oh that's super cool so they have the little chip that they put inside the glove so they calculate your strikes and stuff and look they have it in this so that's fancy so maybe you have one of those high so punch counters you can actually have a little slot for you that's really interesting Good job on Century for that. Um, put my hand in it, it's a little stiff uh, and doesn't have like side padding, but I have a feeling the wrist support's gonna be good because of how low it goes on my hand. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Century did a good job. Uh, the wrist strap is gigantic. It is huge. Uh, so that's kind of one thing. I can open my hand pretty easy. Uh, it doesn't really curve it down. It's not hard. It's kind of like It's a little softer than the UFC fight glove not too much uh, But it feels like it just kind of like that gel padding again as It did in the UFC fight glove, which I'm still not a fan of the gel padding But I like that it has a little wrist brackets back here to protect your hand a little bit more Yeah, that definitely shocks uh, it, uh, Absorbs the shock a little bit more. So that's good. Um, Super high quality leather, smells incredible. Uh, that's really nice. So I actually like how this fits on my hand. Uh, it's really hugging it nice, it's not too rough. Let's try the other one on. The interior lining is really soft. It's like a um, it's like a dry fit pillow is the easiest way to explain it. We open that. This is a triple XL as well. And it's fitting my hand pretty well. So maybe with Sentry, usually they kind of do run a little small on me. So I, that's why I got triple XL for these. But it is a pretty big glove in general. Cool. And it also like the UFC Fight Glove, because they really designed the modern UFC Fight Glove, has the open thumbs, uh, plenty of room to wrap your hands. It's just, there's not a whole lot of padding on the side of your hands though. So like, if you like your, your casting punches or your ridge hand strikes, it's right open in there for you. Uh, pretty decent grips, however, I can definitely see wrist control in these things being an issue because of how big the strap is. But overall, I mean, I'm actually kind of impressed with Century, kind of up in their game with these. PFL definitely has a pretty cool updated glove. It's decently soft, it's not too hard where it's gonna really deck me. I fought in amateur gloves in about the same stiffness and density. Uh, overall, they feel pretty good. All right, so I figure we move on since we did the Century PFL, let's do the original PFL by Fuji, which Fuji does a lot of stuff. They make mats, 
Obviously, they have the Fuji mats. They also sponsor a lot of big Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys. So let's unzip these. And these were the official fight glove for PFL until this last year. And they, I'm pretty sure Fuji actually made the gloves for uh, WSOF when they were WSOF as well. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that's who made them. But Fuji has some boxing gloves and stuff. These, this really small glove. Wow. Um, okay. Um, kind of worried about this one to be honest. It's super small. But maybe if I open it up like this. Okay. Um. Oh. Wow. That was actually way more reassuring. Because at first I'm thinking it's going to be just like the UFC fight glove. It's about the same size as the UFC fight glove. Uh, it's a little, it's actually a little bit stiffer, I'd say, not too much, it's actually right there with the UFC glove, I wouldn't say stiffer or less stiff, it feels just about the same, but uh, once again, it feels like gel padding, uh, you know, I wish I read into them a little bit more, but it just feels like a gel padding, you know, um, overall, they're not too bad, but let's actually strap it on, let's see, it's a little wrist strap over here, and we, boom, same issue with the UFC fight glove, though, um, is that it, the wrist support sucks. But here's one thing about it is my fingers are able to rest pretty well. So that's nice. Uh, so that's always a good thing uh, that you don't want the fingers to just flare open for no reason. As the open thumb here, grips are phenomenal. You can definitely tell these were definitely made for a grappler. Uh, you know, obviously, if they're made by... Um, Fuji. I got these in 3XL because I just wanted to be safe and I was dead on with that. 3XL fits my hand really well. Uh, more than enough room to fit hand wraps in here if I can actually fit my fingers under to test that out. There we go. There we go. Okay, so yeah, definitely more than enough room. It's actually a really comfortable glove and it kind of has that nice natural punch position. I'm definitely punching in the right area here. It's just about, it's basically kind of like a UFC fight glove with a little bit better curvature and the wrist support's a little bit better, but I still wish they had like material back here on the bar. I definitely think Century does better with the PFL glove, but these are definitely not bad. Uh, you know, compared to some other fight gloves out there, these are not bad at all. Um, let's try the other one on. And it slips on really easy too. I think that's the one thing that's nice about this. The leather feels nice, smells nice too. Yeah, they slip on just perfect. Cool. So that's a really nice feel to these gloves. Once again, it actually, it's kind of like the power lock in some ways. It just kind of curves down, which is nice. And I can just nice little punches right off there. But once again, you can definitely tell that a grappler designed this MMA glove right here. So that's a really good benefit to these. So overall, the PFL goes by Fuji aren't bad. I think the Century ones are definitely a little bit better, but these are better than the UFC Fight Glove, and I definitely think they're better than uh, the 1FC Glove. I think they're right about on par with the Power Locks by Everlast right now. They're actually a little softer than those. Uh, they don't curve as much, but they definitely feel comfy. So that's a really good plus for these. I was really worried. They kind of look like the UFC Fight Glove, but they're actually way better. So that's nice. Uh, so let's move on to the next two pairs. Okay, so let's move on to the gloves by Owano. I got these in triple XL like a lot of the other gloves. However, they actually look like triple XL. It means triple XL. They look like they're pretty big. Got them in WEC blue because they used to be made for WEC Strike Force. Uh, and the UFC back in the day. So it comes with your basic wrappings here and some stickers. Okay, well, here's a sticker that is Awano International. Uh, so that's their logo, I guess. It didn't look like that was their logo on their website. And then some dude in a gi, and it says, Try not, do or do not, there is no try. Uh, okay, well, that just. <laughs> To me, just makes no sense. I get what it's trying to say, but okay. Uh, right off the bat, these look kind of like the UFC glove, like the original glove. Uh, so Century definitely tried to take some pointers from this because Awano used to make the gloves. I think right up until Century made them for UFC on Fuel, I want to say, is when Century came in. Because Century was with the UFC for a long time, but Awano was with them for a while. I know the first glove ever used by the UFC was Boxer Genix. Uh, right off the bat, the wrist support is scary. <laughs> Just look how much it flaps. So that's not good. Uh, let's go ahead and open them. Uh, these are still made for uh, K1 
king of the cage. Uh, that's weird. There's like a little piece back here. Yeah, it like separates from the leather back here. The elastic strap right here separates from the leather. I really don't know how I feel about that. But, uh, you know, let's try it on. Pull it down a little bit. So that slips on a little bit easier. Uh, huge space for a punch surface, and it's pretty hard. Um, it's pretty hard punch surface. So you got that to worry about. But the wrist support is above and beyond actually way better. Uh, look how big that strap is. There's still space back here, but it's stabilizing my wrist because of how big it is back here. Where I'm feeling strain though is on the back of my hand by my thumb. So I don't know if that's me or the glove, but the other gloves didn't really do that too much. Uh, it's softer towards the back here. It feels more like a foam than it does a gel in this case, but I still kind of could probably get that gel feeling. I guess a lot of these kind of feel like that, but I think it's just because the padding has to get so smushed down because of how small the glove is. It smells nice. It's a nice high quality, like a decent quality leather, I guess. Not high quality, but it's a decent quality leather. Um, the fingers are actually are really nice and guarded. Um, it's really easy for me to just kind of do this. It doesn't force my hand to do that. My hand's just kind of in a naturally rested position, but it doesn't make my hand go down like this at all. Uh, just kind of rest here. I can just, I can open and close it really well. Decent grip. Let's try this. And, but overall, I mean, it's just kind of like your run of the mill MMA fight club. Uh, nothing too special about it. I think Owano probably gets, probably should get more credit for maybe making the run of the mill fight club because this kind of feels like it. Yeah, I mean, overall, decent. Definitely decent knuckle padding. Uh, I wish it was a little bit softer, but. You know, actually it's funny, the right glove is a little bit softer than the left. So that's interesting, That that's inconsistent, but that's not bad. Uh, overall, I definitely, I would love hitting the mitts and bags with these. They kind of feel more like a decent bag mitt. Um, but overall, yeah, it doesn't really stress the back of my hand now that I'm moving it around a little bit. But I mean, they fit pretty well, definitely more than enough space to get the hand wraps in. But overall, Wano does a pretty decent job at an okay glove. So that's good. It's definitely better than the modern UFC fight glove, better than the 1FC glove, I'd say. I'd put these on par with like the Fuji um, uh, PFL gloves. I think they're about there, if not with the Sentry PFL gloves. Though These actually aren't too bad. Uh, they're not terrible. They're not great. They're just good. Like if I had an event and I need to use them, I'd probably pick these. These weren't too bad. So, all right, let's move on to the last pair. Okay, these things were staring at me. They're really cool and green and Asami makes incredible stuff. Uh, so I'm really excited to try these because they're obviously trying to rip off, well not rip off, but they're trying to make another version of Pride Gloves. So I'm excited to try these out. Ooh, they feel nice. What's this? Oh. All Asami orders come with a really cool bag. This is a little uh, drawstring bag that you can kind of get. And then it comes with uh, instructions in Japanese that oh, I just can't, I can't read or speak. So that does me no good. But let's look at these and immediately they are super soft. Wow, those are soft. The smell of nice, nice leather. And they're definitely like more of a sponge foam, like a soft multi-layered foam. It feels like gel a little bit, but I don't think, it might have some gel in it, to be honest. I don't know. It feels somewhat similar to the UFC glove, only much softer. And you can see immediately, it's kind of like the power lock where it has that pre-cupped like, like hand compartment. And it has that like bar here, like that foam core, but it's softer, much, much softer. You can see it says Asami on the back here. We open this up. The Velcro seems really weak, so it's a good thing that you tape it. Uh, but however, it's a Sami, so. Um, we open the wrist strap here. It has this nice little elastic strap, and we'll go ahead and put these on. And the cool thing I'm noticing too is, oh, that's even cooler. All right, so when we put these on, let's see. For one, that is comfy, wow. That's really nice. So, for one, it, uh, well, that's a little thread hanging off. My hand is naturally resting down like this, so I just close my fist a little bit. It, and trust me, although it's designed to do that, I can still just as easy 
do this and poke you in the face. So uh, already in this project, it kind of seems like it's the person doing this a lot. However, with the UFC fight glove so far, I definitely see why it would make you do that and the one FC glove. But with this, no way. Naturally, it's going to make you want to do this and like ball your hand. It has a cool little neoprene opening here for your thumb, which is actually super comfy and smooth on my hand. So I like how that feels. Uh, and as you can see here, there's like a little tiny grip bar right here but each finger has its own compartment to itself so they tried to mimic the pride glove but hide it behind as you can see here a little opening but hide it behind this little bar so they're still uniform but at the same time they have individuality to their fingers unlike the other gloves where if one moves the other kind of have to move with it but i can kind of do this really easy the grip is phenomenal it's nice and soft so that's good and there's plenty of room for me tons of room to put hand wraps in. Uh, the wrist support, unlike a pride glove, would have had a, a patch back here, uh, a foam more for wrist support. Winning made pride. Uh, pride gloves, I know that, but like I said at the beginning, it is impossible to find pride gloves, but these gloves are really, really nice. I'm actually a, a fan of these so far. I might actually have to train in these more often. Wow. Uh, although I've had the Shuto fight gloves by Ryzen, and then I've, uh, not Ryzen, by, um, Isami, then I reviewed their uh, pounding gloves, but wow, yeah, these are phenomenal. Super soft, super, super soft, nice soft leather too, the leather itself is soft, the padding soft, definitely has high density sponge foams, maybe a little bit of gel, but I honestly don't think it's gel, I think it's just really soft sponge foams on the inside, and it feels really comfortable. Really easy way to punch with these, uh, you can open easily, good grips, sticks through, yeah, wow. These are like the winner so far. Uh, so these are definitely number one in my book. Uh, blows UFC and 1FC out of the water. The power lock is pretty good, but just a little bit too hard. But these right now, definitely super impressed with Isami here. All right, so let's go ahead and break down in order from left to right of which one I think is worst to which one I think is best. Uh, starting with the worst glove out of the bunch that I just really didn't like above all, <laughs> honestly, the 1FC glove. I didn't really like it too much. I think it'd be cool if you broke it in, but if I'm fighting with these the night of, man, that's a nightmare unless they really make it differently for the fighter the night of. It's just there's not enough room. Your fingers are really stiff. It makes me want, it actually forces my hand to do this, and it's impossible to line my my knuckles up with like the finger uh, compartment here and you can see that they tried to do something cool with a little curvature you can see it's kind of like curved out towards the side Fairtex makes phenomenal equipment in fact they're one of my favorite MMA sparring gloves is, is their big MMA sparring glove but but this the uh, FG V12 I think it is it's just really I don't really like it so honestly that's my least favorite out of the bunch so we're gonna put that all the way to the left here um, and then we're gonna start with, let's see, what would I put next to it? I'm gonna go with the Leones, honestly, because like they're just so stiff off the bat and it's really hard to get the elastic strap over, the neoprene feels nice, but they're just kind of stiff and uncomfortable and it's cutting all circulation off to my fingers. So, I mean, I'm really gonna have to break these in on the bag before I think I'm gonna be comfortable with them. So who knows, you know, this is where they are now, but they could be somewhere higher up on the list when I break these in a little bit uh, for the for round three. Uh, but for round one, I put them at number two, which brings me to number three, which is the UFC Fight Glove. Um, it's, you know, it says comfortable gel protection and knuckle area, which actually I should have read that before, but yeah, great wrist support, which it doesn't have, and knuckle protection, once again, really doesn't have. Uh, snug fit, yeah, it's a snug fit, but once again, it just makes me want to do this really actually hurts my wrist a little bit uh tweaks my hand back which i didn't like too much uh but overall i mean it, it doesn't do that great of a job but i have a feeling this is going to be a glove where it's going to feel the same no matter what and it's just gonna no matter how much i break it in or do whatever with it it's kind of just going to stay this way so i mean it's not great, but I think it's better than these two so far. But I have a feeling the Leone one I'm kind of pulling for because Leone I, I love as a brand that don't make crap. So I, I'm thinking it's going to wind up surpassing, but w you know, we'll see. Uh, next in the list, you know, I'm actually going to say Owano's right in the right spot. 
uh, you know, it's basically your run of the mill MMA training glove slash fight glove. It's not great. It's not bad. It gets the job done. And overall, I don't think it sucks, but I definitely think we have better gloves here on the table. Um, you know, it looks like it'll protect your hand. It looks like it'll break in pretty easy. And uh, the wrist support's actually a little bit better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, the only thing that I just realized about it is when you take it off, it leaves a lot of, uh, you know, fuzz and stuff on your hand and it's all over my table now, actually. So I'm gonna have to wipe that off. So that's annoying. Uh, that, and it's like separated. It's like the stitching is kind of weak compared to some of the other ones, but it's like in the middle. It's not great, it's not terrible. I'd recommend it, but I also wouldn't, I would recommend others above it. Which brings me to the Fuji PV, PFL gloves. So they're small, compact, but it actually was super comfortable. I was actually shocked by these. I put these on, I was like, wow. It puts your hand in a natural punch position. It has okay wrist support. It's kind of similar to the UFC fight glove. In fact, it looks incredibly similar to the UFC fight glove, but this is actually smaller for a triple XL too. And I only got a double XL for the UFC fight glove. So, I mean, I don't know. I was really surprised by that. It looks smaller. It's comfy. The padding's not too bad. You know, there could be worse gloves out there, but I would actually train in these. These actually aren't that bad. So I actually really, really like these. Uh, so I'll put these kind of third to the top here. And then that brings us down to three, which I'm going to go ahead and say third one is going to be the Everlast Power Lock gloves. And the reason why is because they are very comfortable, they feel nice, wrist support actually isn't too bad, but man, the foam core in the center is hard. That is super uncomfortable how hard that is. It's really, really concerning, I guess. If I were to get hit by these, I'm like, man, I'm basically getting hit by a sledgehammer. You'd have to break these in, and here's the thing, I have a feeling these are gonna be towards the top, if not one of the tops. Uh, you know, at the end of it. And the reason why is because I feel like once that foam car breaks in, this is gonna be an incredible glove to train in. Uh, it definitely is decently high quality and you see a reason why a lot of promotions use these. And Everlast actually did a decent job by bringing their power lock technology from their boxing glove into the MMA world. So, you know, I'm not gonna complain too much. I actually think this isn't too bad. Uh, I just wish they were a little bit softer when you got them in. Uh, I guess that would be my one complaint about these. Um, once again, Bellator uses these, Titan FC uses these, CES, a lot of promotions use these. Uh, that brings me to number two, which is the Century by PFL, or the PFL by Century. Now, I wish they were maybe a little bit smaller, but overall, the wrist support, the knuckle support, and the way that they feel is really nice. Uh, you know, overall, they're really high quality. I like what Century did with these. I'd like to break these in more, because here's the thing, is that I think Century would be smart if they put a thumb guard on it and made an amateur version of this glove, because for my promotions that I fight for, I would 100% start buying these for these, uh, for those. Uh, it's super high quality, it feels nice, it's nice and soft. It's a little bit softer than the UFC fight glove now, if not right there with it. Uh, but I can definitely tell that it, it's not gonna make my fingers just jot open like this. I can kind of close it a little bit more. Um, it's a little bit more comfortable on the inside and the wrist support, it's a bigger glove in general. And I think that actually makes a difference. I think the bigger the glove, the better it is for your hand support, everything. Cause when you have such a tiny area, you gotta work everything in there. Your hand wraps, the way you're closing and everything else. Uh, the grips on these was surprisingly well. It just kind of feels like a traditional martial art glove that was made into an MMA glove, which is cool. I think a lot of people would like that. So I think Sentry did a good job. So they're number two for me. Uh, I'd say the Everlast and these are pretty tight. I just really wish the Everlast was softer. These are softer than these by far. Actually, these are virtually the hardest glove on the table here. Uh, next to the, I, I mean, the 1FC gloves, this is literally like a rock. But, I mean, that's pretty hard. Which brings me to number one, which is by far the Ryzen um, by Asami. Man, the way these feel are just incredible. Um, the way that they fit on your hand the way that uh, the neoprene sleeve over your thumb feels, the way it contours your hand, the individuality of the fingers and how they can move is really, really, really nice. Uh, overall, I had to put these on just so I can see them. These are super comfortable. Um, and I definitely think you'd see less hands break with these gloves. And I don't know if you'd see less finger po uh, uh, eye pokes because you can still just as easily do this with all these gloves. It's the one myth I'm gonna debunk now. 
I do think it's somewhat of a people thing, although I think there are like two or three gloves on this table that make your hands kind of do that a little bit. It's easier to do it. One FC, Leone doesn't do it too much actually, and the UFC glove, uh, but the Leone ones just kind of make my hands go to sleep. This is just comfy. Uh, you know, they're definitely the most expensive glove out of the bunch, but I mean, if the UFC started going with the Sami, that'd be the greatest investment I think they ever did. Uh, but you know, that's round one over. That's all my first initial thoughts uh, of each glove, and this is the order. So we got from dead last to first, we got dead last, 1FC, Leone, UFC, Wano, PFL by Fuji, which did a good job. The Everlast Power Lock and the PFL Centuries are pretty much tied for me. And then number one by far is the Rise and Fight Glove by Isami. Uh, so, I mean, so far it's a pretty fun event. Uh, I have a feeling no matter what happens, Isami is going to be number one just because of how they are, but you never know. Sometimes fight gloves don't perform that well in training. So we're gonna see which one does well on the bag and does well with some rolling maybe. And then I'll get back to you in probably another week or two. So this is gonna be a bit of a long project because I wanna use each glove to train with for like one day. And I train seven days a week just about. So we should be able to get this done within a week or two. Uh, but. You know, I'll see you back in about another week or two, and we'll see which one is still number one. We'll see if the order changed at all, or if we'll see if there's, um, you know, massive change here. You know, for all we know, the UFC Fight Glove might be number one. We get back. It won't. I, I guarantee it won't. But, but you never know, all right? All right, folks, I'll see you in a couple weeks, and we'll get the final discussion on this. So here you can see with the UFC Fight Glove, it got hand wraps on it, and it's really hard to make a fist. And when you punch the bag, my knuckles feel okay, but my wrist is jarring every now and again, and I have to, like, let off on my hands a little bit. Uh, it's super easy to open my hand with these because it's just hard to close. They do have good grips when you're grappling and stuff, but it's still, when you like grab the wrist or something, it's not that great. Uh, but overall, you know, I'd say the knuckle padding is good because it's gel for like bag and mitt work, but fighting someone with them, they're just very hard. It's just, I'm not hitting as hard as I can because you can actually see my face has a little bit of discomfort because there is pain in my wrist or discomfort in my wrist. You can feel just too much tension. It's just really hard to close your fit. I even did it again. Uh, overall, I don't really like these and I think they're terrible for hand and wrist support i mean you can see me looking at them now all right so the first pair of gloves that i'm going to break down individually for a brief moment is the ufc fight gloves the glove that really started this whole uh project of mine uh and after you seeing me use the bag with these you know one thing that i'll say about them is they really don't promote safety for a fighter's hands and i'm going to put on the left glove here so i can kind of tell you what i'm talking about so first off, what I do like is that it opens well and that much is good. The outside material is actually made out of a good leather and the padding is good to train in, you know, uh, and it'll last you a long time. But when I slip my hand in, for one, I have to like really, really crawl my fingers in here to get it in. And then if you see, I'm gonna close my hand because the glove is basically in two separate spots. They separate it towards the top where the knuckle padding is, right? And then this part here is a completely separate thing. So when I close my hand, look how much that raises up like that. It goes flat, raises up, goes flat, raises up. So I don't think when people say it promotes um, people to keep their hand open, I just think it's a pain to keep it shut. And I'm going to show you that now that it's strapped, especially if I had hand wraps on you know i have more padding and more room in the glove and although this has like some room in it not too much more than i think people should get but just watch the base of this glove lift and see how that just looks like it's stretched it's taut right and then i let go and it relaxes so basically imagine when i punch all my bones and ligaments right here are popping up and in like that because it's making it hard to squeeze right the gel padding is also too firm and the leather is stretched so tight that it's pulling everything at once and i am squeezing and i mean squeezing you can see how red my fingers are getting right it's almost like white knuckling something when you're here and then you just let go 
okay and, and that's really really tough on my hand the other thing is the inside of it uh, you know it's not too bad on the back of my hand but my fingers it's really rough because I have to squeeze it really hard now when I rest my fingers do drop down here so I definitely think when people do this that's them doing it they're trying to gauge maybe to grab but it's just hard to keep your hand closed in this glove so I think that's what people are saying which is like oh well, you know the glove literally wants your hand to stay open or it's forcing you to open it's not forcing you to open this much right it'll rest here but it's definitely a pain to keep it closed. My hand's getting tired just doing this. So when I hit the bag with it, you know, yeah, it hurt my hand a couple times. And I have re reasonably durable hands, you know, um, you know, and, and it kind of jarred my wrist once or twice. Uh, the other thing I wish every pro fight glove would have, I wish they had thumb guards. I don't, I don't understand. If you can cover the rest of your fingers and your knuckles with tape and stuff, why can't, you know, the... And you have to cover it with the finger compartments right here. But like I said, even with the hand wraps on, uh, it burns the back part of my fingers and my top knuckles, which just is super uncomfortable. It's just hard to close a fist. And that gel padding is so hard. It's like, you know, hitting a wooden table with a bat. That's not good, you know? So uh, I really don't like these gloves. All right, now we got the Sami made Ryzen gloves. And on the bag, these are really nice. It feels like a Japanese winning style glove, only in MMA form. Protects your hands and your wrists really well. There's no pain. They're so light and I can move my hands super fast in these and you get amazing grips. I love grappling in these just because of how light and sleek that they are, even though they have that rounded off padding. But overall, as far as protection goes, these things are right up there. I will say every, every so often, not too often, my wrist jars back just a touch uh, but I think that's just more because of the design you can still see my fingers open quite well but there's no like padding on the back of the wrist which is okay uh, I imagine you could tape it when you're getting ready to fight uh, but overall I really really like these gloves okay, now we have the Isami made Ryzen official fight glove and these right out of the box I was like of course Isami made something phenomenal because Isami is phenomenal I absolutely love these gloves I love virtually everything Isami makes uh, they make incredible stuff, and these are no exception. I've had their Shuto fight gloves for a long time. I figured because I, I broke those in, I use those frequently, they wouldn't fit in this video too well, but they're virtually the same thing as this. Uh, these have a little bit of a different design in that uh, the Shuto gloves have a thumb guard, whereas this is just a neoprene sleeve. Uh, the wrist strap also has a nice uh, elastic here, which is nice. You can pull it pretty far out so you can fit your hand wrap in, although still I wish that elastic strap wasn't there. Uh, I wish you know you had more of an open feel. Uh, I messed up earlier and said that they were uh, made out of leather. They are not actually. They are made out of a synthetic material all the way around. It feels really good. It feels soft. It smells like leather and it has the same uh, feel as leather, which is also nice. Uh, when we talk about the wrist support, it hugs your wrist so well. The only thing I just don't understand is there's this little rubber bar at the bottom here and I don't know why because I worry that might cut somebody. So uh, the other thing is that Isami, like for being such an expensive glove, it's like a sticker on the back of this and I was kind of more expecting a screen print for something so expensive, you know, but it's like a sticker on there, which I, I don't really like. I wish they screen printed it and it didn't wear off, but that's, you know, a different thing. You know, they run for about 200 bucks, you would think you know that but the quality speaks for itself the padding for me is the best pouting out of any mma fight glove you could have because it has that nice high density foam that you would see in winning boxing gloves that you would see in um you know any other isami glove like their sparring gloves and stuff like that and that for me is the perfect padding for an mma fight glove because it's not too thick and it's not too bad it works just fine right so that's exactly what you have to deal with Compared to the other ones, they have like thin EVA foams. It's going to break your hand. It's going to definitely, you're not going to feel the protection like you would with this. Uh, and it's super soft. But trust me, you get hit by that hard enough, you're still going down. Uh, that and the finger dexterity is awesome because you have all those individual finger slits connected by that bar. It's a very thin bar. So when you wrap your hands, you still tuck it under fine and you can close your hand just fine like that. And it's really nice. Uh, also, you got these nice finger compartments here that the tips that are padded as well so even if you say we're closed like this and you can't really poke your guy in the eye because they're still too soft maybe that could be something dangerous i know my coach pointed that out uh but still at the end of the day i think this is a really really nice uh mma fight glove isami definitely knocked it out of the park this is probably the closest thing to pride that you're going to get nowadays 
Okay, here we have the Owano fight gloves. And overall, the knuckle support and wrist support's not too bad. The wrist definitely could be better. They are kind of cumbersome and heavier for a fight glove, but they are also pretty big. Really easy to open your fingers with these. Uh, they're kind of just your run-of-the-mill MMA glove that you've used a thousand times. Uh, you know, but I think Owano should get credit um, because they kind of design that MMA glove at the end of the day. But overall, I mean, they're not great. They're not bad either they're just kind of normal okay next are the owano fight gloves which once again you see in promotions like king of the cage they used to do them for wec the ufc everybody used to go through owano and this is just a basic mma fight glove but the thing is i, I give owano all the credit in the world for kind of creating the basic mma fight glove i mean really the first mma fight glove i guess you could talk about was bruce lee's enter the dragon and then what was it? Uh, Boxer Genix made the original for the UFC, I think. If someone ever finds those, let me know. Uh, but when it comes to these, this was like the first mass-produced MMA fight glove that the UFC used forever. Uh, my biggest complaint with this is the finger piping is just falling apart immediately, which is really annoying because my entire, you know, the entire white part of my table is just covered in these black flakes. It gets all over the mat. It gets on your partner. It's all over the wrist. You can actually see the little black spots. All over the wrist too because the wrist piping is falling apart so i don't know why that's the case but the padding is actually really good and the wrist support's not bad because the wrist strap isn't that bad the only thing i say that's kind of weird is that like the back part of the cuff separates like that and i don't know if that's just a flaw with these gloves but i don't like that um and that and it really is kind of hard to get my hand initially in here but once it's in it slides right in just like that and it's a good size glove too uh, but like i said the wrist support compared to the other two gloves is pretty good it still stretches up and there's not a whole lot of support on the back and once again i run into that issue where the back of my fingers here are just getting like burned from squeezing my hand now i don't have to squeeze my hand too awful hard in these it's pretty easy to open and close but it still does kind of propel my hand forward a little bit, um, you know, compared to just if, once again, if we do the test of me just relaxing here and then relaxing here, it does virtually the same, actually. So, you know, as far as this goes, uh, the, there's room in the glove for hand wraps, which is nice. Uh, overall, they're not a bad glove, but, you know, you can get other gloves for cheaper that do the same thing as this. Uh, so I think Owano, you're kind of just buying it for the name at that point, but they're not bad at all. Okay, so the Everlast Power Lock fit the hand really well, and they are really comfortable to hit the bags with, actually. That's the one thing I love about these, uh, is that it does make it very easy for you to close your fist, and it lines your hand right where your knuckles are supposed to land. You don't feel the hard padding. You can see me extend my fingers there, uh, but you don't feel... Uh, the hard padding that it has while you're wearing it. Uh, I imagine your opponent in the bag does, but you don't for sure. They're super light on the hand. They feel really comfortable. Uh, you can get really good grips with them. You can open and close really easy. Overall, they're a really, really nice glove to punch with. Uh, I really like how the Everlast Power Lock just forms to the hand in the fist. Uh, overall, a really good fight glove, and I would love to fight with these uh, if they were just a little softer. And next, we got the Everlast Power Lock, which is used by guys like C. ES, Bellator, Titan FC, uh, you know, name any MMA promotion in the world. At some point, they have probably used the Everlast Power Lock within the last 10 years. Bellator was really the first big one to, you know, promote, especially when the UFC Fight Glove was getting so much uh, flack. Uh, Bellator was the first one to promote, well, our gloves won't break our fighters' hands. Uh, I really like these gloves. They're very comfortable. Uh, they open wide, which is good. I always like that they open wide. Uh, the thumb loop, you know, is okay. The one thing I think about the thumb loop that I wouldn't like so much, though, is that I'd worry if someone could, you know, reach in and kind of pull at it. Kind of like the 1FC glove. I should have pointed that out with the 1FC glove, too. But you can kind of reach in and yank at it. So I would just, if you're going to have the thumb loop, I would just keep your thumb exposed and get rid of the loop in general. Just have the side of your hand exposed at that point. Or just add a thumb guard and it gets rid of the issue altogether. There you go. Uh, but overall, the wrist support's really good because the back of this hugs my wrist pretty well. Uh, and it does promote my hand to kind of go shut. I won't say it like makes me just do this. It's still very easy. When I say it's very easy to poke people's eyes in any of these gloves, watch this. Whoop. Poke just like that. And it's not hard for me to do that either. I can just do this. Very good to grapple with. Unlike the last three, you know, I say the Owano glove wasn't too bad, but this one definitely is the first glove that really makes it easy to grab, shoot underneath and stuff. Although I will say this being so bumpy kind of does make it hard to get some certain underhooks or to slide it underneath the chin because it does have that big groove 
And basically the one thing that I don't like about this is though it promotes the hand to be closed, they have this huge piece of solid foam on the inside of this. And you can even hear it here of the air trying to like escape the center. And that's because the foams is too hard. You know, this is the hardest glove on the table. Uh, you know, and it doesn't break in at all. And I can tell you that because I tried these more than any other glove on the table just to see if they would break in. I put rounds in on these things. You know, like like I do at least 10 rounds on the heavy bag every day when I'm training for my fights and stuff. Just bare minimum that just for like for training, just just basic training, right? And I did these gloves for like a week and a half to two weeks straight on top of the other gloves I had just to see if they'd break in and they don't. They don't get softer. It's basically a high dense, I mean, a, a closed cell foam on the inside of a fight glove. And now closed cell foam is what they use for bag gloves and boxing gloves. So, I mean, it's hard. It's a really hard glove. Uh, you know, it's good for protection of my knuckles and for my wrist, but I just feel like maybe you're giving people too much of an unfair advantage by punching them with, you know, virtually what feels like a loaded glove. So if they made this a little softer, I'd be happy with it, and it'd probably be my number one, if not close to number one, but it's just that being so hard is, you know, I wish Everlast did something with that, but the wrist strap support and the interior lining is really nice. It doesn't hurt my fingers like the other ones did. The interior lining is Everlast uh, EverDry technology, which is always nice. I really like the EverDry technology. It's very soft, very nice feel to the knuckles, uh, very nice feel to the fingers too. Although always wear hand wraps when you do this stuff, but but it's a very comfortable glove. Just wish it was a little softer. So here are the one FC gloves. I'm doing the same thing as I did with the UFC gloves and that I'm squeezing and they feel better on the knuckles and a little bit better on the wrist than the UFC gloves. I don't feel discomfort per se uh, and it doesn't hurt. There's no pain, but it's just they're awkward and they're just stiff and you have to squeeze too much. And you can see that your fingers do flare open pretty easy with these. It is easier to close your fist in these than the UFC gloves, but it is tight because the leather is so stiff and stretched so tightly. Um, your, your hands can move pretty quick. They got decent grips, but you can even see I'm kind of clapping and stuff because it's really hard to close my hands. I'm showing you right there. Uh, overall, I don't like these. Moving on to the one championship fight gloves. I was really hoping for these because I'm a huge Fairtex fan. It is made of like their regular high quality leather, but it is the stiffest glove, I swear. It is so stiff to put on your hand. The fingers just don't move or anything. The wrist support is kind of like the UFC glove uh, where you know it stretches so far up. So when you put your hand in, the other thing I don't like about it, it has that elastic strap, which I mean, you have to really stretch it apart to get your hand in. And even then I got an XL and it's still kind of tight. And this is what I mean here. I have to crawl my hand in to really get it in. Now I can close my hand, but it's kind of the same thing as a UFC glove. It's kind of burning the back part of my knuckles and it hurts. I really don't want that when I'm punching something. I don't want to be thinking, man, I was like scraping the back of my hand. I don't know why. Uh, the wrist support, like I said, isn't all that great because you see it again, just like with the UFC glove. If I open, you see all that stretch on the base of my wrist. And that just, it's not a comfortable feeling to have at all. So, you know, I wanna avoid that as much as I can, but I'm squeezing here and that just hurts, you know, like, and I, it, my hand's gonna get tired. The one thing I'll say is the padding it is, you know, honestly just as hard, if not harder than the UFC glove, but it protected my knuckles a little bit more. And the, at least the wrist has some soft padding in the base of it. So it protects my wrist a little bit more than the UFC glove does. But the one thing is the fingers are so tight because all of this is leather. You know, once again, I'm like white knuckling it basically just to, just to keep my hand closed. And that's not how a fight glove is supposed to go. So when I open it, you know, it like launches open that fast, you know, and I can do that with this with my hand, but like, like I'm just going to relax my, if I relax my hand here, it just does that and opens. Watch how this just launches my hand open like that. If I'm here and then it, boom, like that. And so it sucks. You know, this glove isn't great either. Uh, you know, it goes for about 
70 bucks. Uh, so they're definitely better training gloves or even fight gloves that you can get for 70 bucks. So the Leone contest gloves are used for Bellator a lot and they feel just like the Everlast Power Lock MMA gloves, which are also used for Bellator. The only thing I will say is you can see me extend my fingers out just like every other glove. But uh, the one thing I'll say is that you need to break these in pretty well on the pads or on the bag. Then the leather starts to soften up. Then the padding starts to soften up, which is always really good. Uh, and they feel really nice. You can close your hand really well. There's no restrictions there. The wrist support is actually really well when you hit the bag uh, and you can fit, you know, as much padding as you need to inside the glove. They actually have a really good hand compartment size when you break them in. Overall, it's a really nice glove. They got good grips, uh, great for grappling, great for tie clinches. Overall, just a really good fight glove. Okay, moving on to the Leone contest gloves or Leone, however you'd like to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's Leone though. Uh, these are really good. Bellator uses these in their European circuits. Uh, I actually messaged Bellator to, uh, not Bellator, uh, Leone to confirm that and they actually said yes. Bellator uses this primarily when they are out of the United States, which is cool. Um, so that and for the uh, Grand Prix, they use the white version of this, uh, but you can buy these in blue, black, and red. Uh, which is cool. I like Bellator blue, so I went with the blue color. Uh, however, they kind of messed up my order. They gave me a large instead of an extra large, which is okay because after these broke in, they fit my hand perfect, uh, you know, and with room for hand wraps to spare, which is nice. So it's nice to have a glove that's actually, you know, a little bit bigger. Uh, I think my one complaint, and it could very well be because of the size, but my one complaint is the fingers aren't necessarily stiff. Uh, but they could be a little bit, you know, less stiff towards the top, I guess. Uh, you know, it is pretty soft, but the knuckle padding, after a while, it's a soft EVA foam, started to break in after about two or three rounds, and it felt really nice. The wrist support is pretty good. It basically feels like uh, Leone kind of looked and said, oh, we're just going to try and do, uh, if we're sticking with Bellator, uh, we're going to try and basically do the Everlast Power Lock. So these did a really good job in that they're softer than the Power Lock. I wouldn't say the wrist support is quite as good as the Power Lock, but they are definitely a lot more comfortable and they're not nearly as hard and it's not forcing my hand to stay cupped at all times but I would definitely say that it is very easy to open and close and grip it and it's also flatter so I can still get through under the neck get under hooks and it slides a lot easier than the other gloves would uh, and it's very comfortable I love hitting the bags with these and they open wide which is nice, just like the uh, power locks do. Although this has a very ended strap, which is nice actually, because you can fold it on the inside, then you can cut it just like that and it's nice and tight already. I barely even put that on and it feels nice and snug on my wrist. Tons of room on the inside once you break this in for hand wraps, even for a large for my hands, which is crazy. I usually need an XL. So Leone did a really good job with sizing, uh, which a lot of other gloves don't because a lot of other gloves I have on the table are XL to double XL. Uh, so, you know, they definitely have a good size variety as far as Leone goes. Uh, but these, I think, are just basically a softer version of the Power Lock. So I think they're better. I think they're about tied. I just like that these are softer. Primarily, if I'm going to fight someone else in them, it feels like I'm not hitting them with loaded with loaded gloves, I guess, at the end of the day. Uh, but they're very comfortable. They also have this neoprene sleeve for your thumb, which keeps it locked in. But once again, I have a solution for all of that. Just put a thumb guard. Uh, I think pros should have thumb guards too. You know, you got thumbs to protect, so you protect them. But these are the Leone contest gloves. Pretty good job. Okay, these were the ones that surprised me most were the PFL by Fuji gloves. And I actually really like these because they form to your hand really well. Uh, the padding actually protects you a lot more than you think you can flare your fingers open just like every other glove uh, but the knuckle and wrist support is really nice because the, the glove is so small compared to the other ones that it just kind of morphs to your hand it fits over perfectly yet there's still tons of room for you to put hand wraps on uh, it's really easy for you to get a grip they're nice and small and thin so you can actually sneak under uh, the throw and you know get under hooks and everything else I like getting tie clinches with these on the bag especially when I work them they're a really nice bag mitt they did not take long at all to break in overall i like these gloves quite a bit all right so here we have the most surprising mma gloves on the table ones that i thought were going to be really bad turned out really really good uh, my first reaction taking them out was they slipped on perfect they felt great and they felt broken in right off the bat which was really nice and they broke in even better uh, but these are the pfl gloves by fuji and they're made by century now but these were on sale uh, for 25 bucks since fuji isn't making them anymore and i said you know what i'll get them and maybe that'll be nice for the channel that way you know it's still not too new of a narrative century's only been with pfl for this year whereas fuji was was with them for a long time before that uh, so so in general, you know, I was really excited to try these gloves out. 
when I first tried them on, but when I first got them, I'm like, man, it's probably just a UFC glove knockoff because, I mean, it looks kind of just like the UFC fight glove, only it's a little smaller. And the real big difference is the lining is, you know, virtually the same, I'd say. Uh, but the real big difference, I guess, with the wrist support is you got the big strap, you got the smaller strap, but there is no center strap uh, like the UFC glove has to, like, secure this one, which is kind of pointless to me. Uh, but basically what I love about these is how easy your hand just slips right in. And it has that same contour as the Everlast Power Lock does, and it also has the same contour as the Leone glove does a little bit. It's kind of like a hybrid between the two. And uh, the leather here doesn't really burn the bottom part of my fingers at all. It gives me a nice, like, grip support. And when I have hand wraps on, it tucks underneath here perfect, which is nice because usually sometimes, like, with the UFC fight gloves, I'd have the bar for my hand wrap, and it'd be, like, hanging here, and it would just be another thing to grab onto, and I couldn't close my hand. But now when I lock this tight, it has super good wrist support because the leather is stretched over in a perfectly nice way. And look how easy it is to just open and close. You can definitely tell a grappler designed these just off the fact of how they open. You get phenomenal grips, shoot under the arms easy, under the neck, over the neck. Uh, you know, you get a lot of really good grips around the ankles too for guys that like the leg attack a lot. Uh, but overall, you know, it virtually is a UFC fight glove design, just kind of upped to the next level, I guess. Uh, the seam is down farther, so when you ball your fist, the wrist doesn't pop up at all, and it actually snugs to your wrist, or gets uh, snug to your wrist when you ball your fist, which is nice. And then on top of it, it lines your hands up perfect. There's your knuckles right there where you're punching, and look, when it's open, boop, close, right there, boom and you're all set to go. So I really like uh, that Fuji did this. I was really, really surprised to see how well Fuji pulled these off. All right, now we have the Sentry PFL gloves, and I absolutely love these as far as hitting the bag and pads with, because they feel like the old school Sentry bag mitts, and they look like the old school Sentry karate gloves. The knuckle support is amazing. The wrist support is awesome. It feels like an MMA sparring glove type of support, only with just stiffer padding, I guess is the easiest way. You can flare your fingers open uh, pretty easily, uh, but overall, I absolutely love hitting these. You get awesome grips with these as well. Grappling with these is really easy because of the contour of the glove as well. You can slip under the throat, get under hooks and overhooks really easy uh overall i think the one thing that these gloves stand out compared to all the other ones is the wrist support is just incredible i think these gloves are outstanding i love hitting the bags with these they're actually one of my favorite bag mitts now uh that i use them quite a bit uh but you know i'll i'll train in these as well not so much sparring still but i will train with these all right here we have the pfl by century fight gloves which is much different from the fuji version and these are definitely different from the century version of the ufc gloves and that these gloves are a lot bigger and they look traditional kind of like century's karate mitts that they use for their old school karate bags and stuff so that's definitely something that i really like about these is just uh how well constructed it is and this glove screams defense for my hand like uh to keep my hand protected which is awesome so i absolutely love that about these gloves uh, the one thing, once again, I wish I had a thumb guard, but when we open it, you can see we have a gigantic wrist strap, and then it opens just like the UFC fight glove would here, okay? And then, of course, because PFL has their punch tracker, you see that you can actually fit a punch tracker right in here. So say if you have, like, I think UFC has one. I have Hikeso, those Hikeso punch trackers, or Everlast has their punch trackers. You can put that chip right in here, and you're ready to go, which is really, really cool. I think that's a really... Uh, good design that they threw in there uh, but overall this glove is really nice you got nice eva foam padding here or it might be gel even like really really soft gel but it's much softer than the ufc fight glove it's just about as firm as the pfl uh, fuji glove which is nice uh, I don't have to struggle to fit my hand in. It slides right in just like that, and it's very soft on the back of the hand. I still say uh, Everlast probably has the softest background with their Everdry technology, uh, the softest lining, but this is pretty close. Uh, Asami, I also like them using their synthetic material. The other thing is when I pinch this uh, around, I can close and open my hand really well, and it doesn't hike the whole glove up. And also, it straps it down with this big wrist strap, so my wrist is nice and stabilized now. So when I close my hand like this, it's nice. Also, the padding on the side is pretty good for hammer fists compared to a lot of uh, the other ones. There's not too much padding, too much here, but you know, in this case, on this uh, ridge part, 
a little bit. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more maybe, but I definitely wish there was a thumb guard. I just don't like the thumb kind of hanging out there loose. There's tons of room in here for uh, hand wraps, which is nice. And then I don't have to worry about wrist issues because when I close my fist, sure, it's going to tug at the glove like every other glove on the planet will do. But these wrist bars here, the little ridges, are keeping my wrist stabilized. So when I punch stuff, it's in a nice position, doesn't jolt it down or up like that, keeps it right there. And I can, best part is, is especially with the padding and stuff that I put for my hand wraps, I can actually strap this tighter, I can strap it looser, and it's nice. And people are gonna think, whoa, it looks so bulky. It's actually, it just looks wide, but it's really, really thin, just like most other boxing gloves would be. And here's the thing, you spar in MMA sparring gloves that are bigger than this glove. I promise you, this does not uh, it appears a little bit bigger, probably on camera, uh, but it's really not that big compared to all the other gloves that you tried. Um, it still fits, I'll show you that too. It still fits under the arms, over the neck, through, it really fishes through like this really easy, swims under here really easy, uh, you know, get really good grips here and everything like that. Uh, and I have really good mobility. Uh, with my fingers and, and the bar is good enough to where you can tuck the stuff under it does pop out a little bit but the palm is so big the glove is so big that the palm is very open which is nice so you know maybe you like boss root and palm strike so you can use that in the bone of your wrist here as well but overall this glove really knocked it out of the park for me i was really surprised because it's basically the hand compartment size of a boxing glove with the contour of an mma sparring glove with the design of an MMA fight glove. So I think that's a really good uh, combination that this glove pulled off. All right, folks, so after extended use of all of these fight gloves, I finally have my favorite, my least favorite to favorite narrowed down, and I finally have like an idea of how most professional MMA fight gloves work. I've used a lot of these in the past, uh, just independently. Now, when I tried them brand new and really put this, uh, this project into motion, I really start to understand what a lot of the professional fighters have to deal with, especially when it comes to protecting their hands, wrists, and everything else, you know, the things that make them money, right? So when we talk about the MMA fight glove design, it's so, it's such a highly debated subject. So once again, the whole point of this project was for me to pick all the gloves that you see on TV all the time between UFC, PFL, 1FC, Ryzen, uh, Bellator, uh, let's see what else. I mean, I mean most of these promotions will use like K King of the Cage uses some of these gloves on this table uh, You know, we can talk about Titan FC, CES, CFFC, LFA, KSW A lot of other big promotions in the world have used at least one of these gloves on this table uh, Which is crazy to think about all right But these are all the major promotions and they say this is exactly the official fight glove of their promotion So either they're lying to you or lying to me and selling us the wrong thing or we're trying exactly what the fighters are trying out okay now the other thing I want to emphasize is once again I took all of these out of the bag and use them like that um, and I only use them maybe for two or three days at a time you know for maybe an hour or two here or there which is still more than what most professional fighters are gonna use they're gonna take it out of the bag make sure it fits okay it fits and then break it in maybe for an hour on the pads if that and then they'll use it to train afterwards after their fight and think about that in a championship professional fight the most that they're gonna use these four guys is 25 minutes right so you got to think about that and if you can include training at most they're gonna be using these before for fight time for about a half hour to an hour. So total, you're only using this for like 90 to 100 minutes. Think about that. So you don't have a whole lot of time to break these in with training sessions before, but I did. Uh, so first I'm gonna squash a couple myths. Well, first actually I'm gonna answer a few questions. Question number one was, why don't you have a pair of pride gloves, which I addressed earlier in the video. And basically guys, finding pride gloves is rare. Winning made pride and winning did not make them to the general public for the most part, right? Uh, Owano made pride a couple times, uh, but those gloves are just so rare to find. And if you find any that don't have signatures on them, they cost well into the 700 to a thousand dollar or more range. And I just don't have that type of money to spend on a pair of MMA gloves that I would put in a display case before I would ever use. Uh, same thing for Dream Gloves. Uh, you know, the closest thing I can think of are the Ryzen Isami gloves, and then there's Sengoku gloves that Isami also makes, but I don't think winning will ever make an MMA glove like that ever again. Uh, the second question was, why don't you have Trevor Whitman's MMA glove? It's because no one really has that. They don't sell it on Onyx right now. I'm pretty sure really only Trevor Whitman's guys can use this 
stuff like that, except for his boxing gloves. He sells, you know, I, I have two pairs of his boxing gloves and I love those gloves. But when it comes to the actual, um, you know, MMA gloves that he has, it's just, you know, they're not available. Now, I wish I had his number to call him and get it, but I just don't. You know, everyone's like, why don't you get in touch with him? He's like, I don't have pull like that. I wish I did. If I if I could call one of the most legendary coaches in the game, trust me, I would, uh, but I don't. Uh, so maybe one day, Mr. Whitman, if you ever see this, I'd love to try the glove out, but I don't even know if he has a patent on it. So if that's the case, I don't want to see it because I don't want anyone to try and like get it from me or anything like that. Uh, then going into a couple myths I want to bust before getting into the gloves themselves. First myth is not one glove design on this planet will ever fix eye pokes. It just won't happen because if you watch me hit the bags and the commentary and everything, you can see my fingers flare open like this all the time. It's very easy for me to do that. Uh, some gloves don't necessarily promote my hands to stay open. They just make it difficult to close. So I, that's another myth I'll squash is when people say, well, the glove's literally designed to keep your hands open. No, it's not. It's just a pain to keep it closed, which I guess you could say promotes you to keep it open, but it's not the intent design behind it, the intended design, right? So I guess we can throw those myths out uh, at that point. Uh, and then after I'm done going through all these, I kind of want to take all the positives from them and see if I can put them into like a mental design in your head like I'm putting it in my head as well. But I'm going to go from my least favorite glove to my most favorite glove. So without further ado, here we go. Starting with my least favorite glove is the official UFC fight glove, which originally was made by... Um, well, I mean, if you want to go way, way back, back, it was made by Boxergenics, then Iwanu, then Sentry, and now uh, they're supplied by Diaco, which is Spirit Combat Sports. And basically, it's the same design that they had with Sentry for a very, very long time. Uh, and the one thing I can tell you about it is, in general, it's a leather shell. It has gel padding, and it has the worst wrist support that I've ever used in an MMA glove because it's just so tight. If you watch the in-depth part about the glove, the little snippet I made about this glove in particular, when you put this glove on, what it does is this part here, the padding part, you know, which has a very thin layer of gel padding, which I just wouldn't use gel in a fight glove. Sure, it'll last a while for training, but gel is a really hard material. You know, it sounds like I'm, I'm hitting a wooden table with, with, you know, a bat, basically. It's hard, you know, so you have to deal with that. Um, the other thing about that is gel takes a very long time to break down and if you've ever wrapped your hands with gel or used a gel boxing glove which is thicker than this you know like skull tech gel pads are bigger than this you know what i mean and same thing for the winning knuckle guards they're a lot thicker than this so it's not offering you a whole lot of knuckle support and on top of it the seam here that keeps it down when you ball your fist pulls your entire wrist up and like flattens it so hard against your wrist so when you punch if you're not wearing wraps proper or if your hands aren't wrapped properly then i can definitely see why people's knuckles break you know when your wrist breaks usually your bones pop upwards and in not backwards so they're popping up and out and it hurts a lot and that's basically what happens here but if you need to see that again kind of like what i'm talking about because i won't put all these on again when when you see this it just constantly contorts that wrist downward and it's very uncomfortable and i see why people hate this glove for a good reason a couple tweaks can make this glove really good otherwise it's really comfortable there's a lot of room for hand wraps but the more hand wraps that you have in it the harder it is to close your hand moving on to my second least favorite is the one fc glove which i was really excited about because this is basically the same fight glove that strike force used by fairtex uh one fc or one championship uh, you know, uh, is all Fairtex gear. Uh, but basically the thing behind this glove is the inside is very comfortable, right? And that's good, but it's so stiff. It's one of the stiffest gloves I've ever used. The only thing that I like about it is that uh, the knuckle padding is a little bit better than UFC's and I can close my hand a little more and it has some padding on the wrist to kind of prevent your wrist from breaking upward too much. So it kind of splints it a little bit. But the other thing about it is that the leather is literally everywhere. Besides the material that you have on the inside here, it's all leather which means this, the uh, finger compartments are stiff uh, they don't move all that freely and it's very hard to keep your hand closed in this just like the UFC glove so I'm squeezing as tight as humanly possible so when I hit when I hit the bag a couple times I felt it jolt up my wrist I felt it hurt my hand a couple times just like the UFC glove the only thing is is my knuckles didn't hurt as much in this because it's more rounded and it is just a, maybe not thicker but it's you know more of a denser EVA type foam but it's still really 
really really hard you know and i just don't like that in a fight glove because i just you know i know i'm my opponent's fighting in it too but it's like why does the padding have to be that hard it's probably because it's stretched over such a tight surface but i wish maybe the leather was a little softer and the padding was a little softer maybe it would make it easier to open close but overall i didn't mind hitting the bag and mitts with these rolling with these was kind of hard because you couldn't get a good grip in them but overall i, I didn't really like these either Moving on to uh, the Owano gloves, which really aren't that bad. Uh, you know, Owano was really one of the first brands to just mass produce fight gloves. You still see these in King of the Cage. They use Owano, and they and they use them for a couple other regional promotions. Uh, they've been around for a long time. Made them for WEC too. That's why I have the WEC colors. Although I think Strike Force, uh, I mean, you know, Strike Force. I think Fairtex made WEC for a little bit too. Uh, the only thing about these gloves that I just don't like is that the piping is falling apart. You can see it at the top. And the other thing is that the knuckle support isn't too bad. The wrist support isn't great, just like the other two. It's better than the other two, I'd say, because the wrist strap is a lot bigger. But the one thing I will say about these gloves is they are just a run-of-the-mill fight glove. I think the reason why they probably go for as much as they do, which is still cheap, like maybe 40 or 50 bucks for a decent fight glove, uh, you can get a bunch of other training gloves that are virtually the same exact thing uh, that Awano sells because, I mean, I guess you can give credit to where credit's due. Awano kind of made the base MMA fight glove, so every other glove in the world is virtually designed like this. The only thing that most fight gloves don't do is the flake, uh, I mean the, uh, the piping doesn't just flake after, you know, using it for five minutes. So my entire table actually is just covered in like black flaky things from, from the fingers of this glove. So that's definitely one thing about Awano. But I like the EVA padding, it's softer, the, the finger compartment's really comfortable, it's a comfortable glove and the wrist support's better, but it's still not great compared to everything else on the table so far. Which brings me to my middle one, which I was having a lot of hopes for, was the Everlast Power Lock, which is still the hardest glove on this table. Uh, so the thing about it is it's like a hard foam core and I think what Everlast was trying to do, especially with their power lock technology, if you ever watch like my, my YouTube videos on their boxing gloves, it promotes you to curve your hand like this into a natural punch position, which this glove does. The only thing, the way that they did that is they compensated for it by having such a hard foam core. So the issue is when you're pushing into this, it's really hard. It's harder than the UFC glove. It's it's harder than the 1FC glove. It's harder than the Wano glove. It's harder than any other glove on this table, right? Uh, but the one thing I will say is that you can slip your hand right into the glove so easy and everything about the glove is comfortable. Uh, the punch position is great. It's awesome wrist support, awesome knuckle protection. It's just so hard and I wish it wasn't that hard. You can actually hear the air leave that hard foam core so that's basically what's keeping it go um open is it must be like a closed cell foam in the center and usually closed cell foam is what they use in bag gloves you don't want to hit people with stuff you'd hit a bag with uh you know like that because it's designed harder to last longer so i definitely would not uh that sounded wrong, by the way, but I definitely would not uh, necessarily want to fight in these too much because they're so hard and I've used these a lot more than some of the other gloves on the table because I wanted to see if they would break in and they just haven't, which is good as far as durability goes. When I hit the bag with these, I absolutely, I absolutely love using these as bag mitts and pads and I'll roll with these. Very comfortable to grapple in as well, uh, but in general, uh, I just wish they were a little softer. I guess would be my one complaint, but I think the design is awesome. But I think the glove that kind of picked up on that design was the Leone Contest glove, which I found out was a large, not a double, uh, not an XL. So they kind of messed up my order, which is okay. Uh, but actually, when I broke these in, because at the at first I was really worried. I didn't think they were going to break. Uh, I didn't think that they were going to be that great. But I did say I kind of have hopes that they're going to be better and break in, and they did. The leather got a lot softer, and the EVA foam padding on the inside got a lot softer too. And it's basically a power lock in a lot of ways if you just kind of look at it it's curved virtually the same way it's designed the same way they're both used for bellator and i know leone's used in a lot of bellator's european shows uh really the big difference is the wrist support is pretty good um it's not I, i'd say it's just about as good as the power lock if not a little bit under but the knuckle support makes up for it and there's a lot more softer padding on the back of the hand uh, the wrist support is pretty good it straps pretty well i just wish maybe it was a little bit you know it's kind of contoured so it will like cuff the bottom part of your wrist i wish it was a little bit more normal because you're going to wind up strapping it with you know red or blue tape at the end of the day 
Uh, it has a neoprene sleeve for your thumb, which is comfortable. I still, I guess I don't understand that concept entirely. Maybe it's to keep your thumb in a, in a specific place and protect it a bit more. But I don't know if a neoprene sleeve would necessarily do that. Uh, but overall, the Leone Contest Glove uh, worked really well. It's, it's virtually the power lock, just a little bit softer, which is why it ranks a little bit higher. It's not that much higher than the Everlast Power Lock, but I definitely see why the Power Lock is used by a lot of different promotions, especially regional promotions in the United States. Uh, the inside of this feels really nice too. Uh, the insides of most of these gloves actually feel pretty good, but um, but I like the inside to the Leone glove quite a bit. It's very, very soft. It's very comfortable. It's not rugged or anything, so that's always good. So I, I had high hopes for these, and I'm glad that they paved out. Uh, they're a really good fight glove, and they're right about there with a the power lock, just them being softer. I, I just have more confidence in my hands too, because sometimes with hard padding, it'll just be too much. Uh, what really shocked me was our third to last pick, which was the Fuji uh, PFL gloves. And the reason why I was like having super little hopes for this is because like they were selling them uh, for cheap because Fuji doesn't make them anymore, Century does. And so I got these for 20 bucks and they just looked like the UFC glove. And I'm like, oh great, it's just gonna be a UFC glove knockoff. But when I got it out, it was like curved. Kind of like the power lock and when i slipped it on it slipped on easier than the power lock it was a lot more comfortable uh, than most other gloves on here i'd say as far as comfort goes the power lock and the leone were super comfortable uh, and then the and these were about as comfortable if not a little bit more comfortable and i had so much room to move my hand around in which was great you can definitely tell because fuji's a brazilian jiu-jitsu brand they make mats and um you know geese and a bunch of other stuff and no gi stuff you know and, and you see i know when i go to like uh grappling tournaments you see the fuji signs all over the place and they these were definitely designed for a grappler because opening and closing i can do it just like i can with my hand like like this and it's so nice and i love that the grips are great you can sneak things through really easy they're not bulky uh their padding is is just a basic it feels somewhat like a gel but for me it's a really really soft maybe like high density eva foam uh you know um you know which is something you don't often see is like higher density usually the eva foams are closed cell which are hard but these uh are really soft actually and they broke in really quick because they weren't stiff at all when i put them on and they broke in really really easy too so i actually use these a lot for uh grappling and i use these a lot for bag work now uh, I, I was really really impressed with what fuji did with these and i hope they continue to make something from the design because they did a really good job for such a basic looking glove it, it kind of kicked ass so that's awesome going to my second favorite uh, which were not too far off from my original favorite, which was the Rise and Fight Glove. Now, uh, I really like this glove. It's light. It's very, very durable. I messed up in the beginning and thought it was leather. When I bought it, I was looking at another pair of gloves. This is actually a synthetic vinyl material, but it smells and feels just like real leather, and it's so soft to the touch. The inside is also made of that synthetic material, and the other thing about this is it just conforms to your hand so easy. Uh, the only thing, like most of these other gloves, it's smaller. It looks, it, when you buy it, and when you see it on TV, they look a lot bigger. It's actually a very small glove compared to a lot of these. Like the PFL glove is super small, and the Ryzen one is just about the same size. And then you see like the Leone, which is, you know, you see just the size comparison. So this is still a really, really small glove, even compared to the 1FC glove. You know, you see that. That's how crazy of the size different it is. What I like about this though is that the fingers are individualized and they're padded so your fingers aren't going to jam. It does open and close very easily. You can grapple incredibly easy in these gloves, which is nice. Everything about the glove, the wrist support is pretty good. Uh, the only thing I will say is I was surprised by Isami. I wish they screen printed that on, this little rubber patch. Uh, but it's actually like kind of a sticker and that's coming off which is a bummer uh, The other thing I would say about this is like they're 200 bucks So if you're gonna train in these that's expensive for a fight glove that might not last forever You know compared to everything else is virtually a hundred dollars or less on the table um, It also takes a little bit for these to come in but overall, uh, I'd say they're great. The Velcro kind of wore off a little bit, uh, you know, towards the end. You know, it, it kind of just flips up a little bit. So definitely they're a fight glove. They're meant to be taped. Uh, but, you know, still I would expect better Velcro uh, from Asami. 
and uh, they also have that neoprene thumb, you know, maybe to give you that added thumb support too. But overall, the wrist support, uh, just like every other MMA fight glove, still could be a little bit better, but overall, Ryzen did a very good job. Uh, one thing, I don't think anyone would ever break their hands in these gloves because of how soft the sponge foam is. It's a high density foam. It feels like a winning padding, you know, like, like winning the boxing glove. It feels like that type of padding with that high density, breathable, uh, you know, like uh, type of foam. And it feels nice. It feels like a jacket. Japanese made glove if you're a professional boxer or, or just a guy that's used those in general you know exactly what I'm talking about so in general uh, great for protection and these do, these do a really good job but there's one glove on this table that does it all for me especially for the price and that was surprisingly by century the PFL century version and I was really impressed with this glove because at first glance I was like, you know, this looks like they're old school karate mitts and like boxing glove mitts that I that I used when I got my first stand up heavy bag, which was ironically by Century. Uh, and I remember they came with those punch mitts and they look just like that, right? And uh, the one thing I'll say about these is for an MMA fight glove, they are rather huge, but I love what they do because they're saying, you know what, let's change the game up a little bit more. And so uh, it has a really huge wrist cuff and on top of it, you got the ridges towards the back that basically splint your wrist with that nice, uh, you know, it's, it definitely feels like a closed cell foam, EVA foam on the back of the wrist. And you get that same feel up in the knuckles, but it's a lot softer. It's not any thicker from the other paddings here. I think the thickest padding period would be either the Power Lock or the Ryzen. Ryzen definitely has a very thick padding, but this isn't too thick but it's soft enough to where I can open and close my hand just fine. You'd think because the wrist is so big and because the side is so big and the glove looks so big that grappling would be impossible, but the grips I can get with these are phenomenal. I can get underneath the arms. I can get underneath necks very easy. I can get guillotine grips. I can even get my eight finger grips and stuff like that when I'm really working stuff or even butterfly grips when I'm trying to arch and stuff. Uh, you can get a lot of really good grips with this. The inside is very comfortable. Uh, but the wrist support is really what does it and the knuckle support too. The, as far as the glove that has the most protection on this table, my money would go for the PFL by Century. Uh, you know, uh, they do a phenomenal job as far as the contour of the hand goes. Uh, it does not promote my hand to go open like this, although I don't think any of these do, but closing your hands really nice. And I also think they kind of had that traditional karate look uh in, instilled and you can see it a little bit in this glove it looks nice and it feels nice uh really high quality leather and the padding's really durable and nice and you can definitely use this for a long time in training which is nice too i would actually feel comfortable in sparring in like the ryzen gloves not too hard and in these because of how big these are uh they're definitely a softer fight glove too once you break them in i mean these broke in after about a round or two on the bags which is awesome most of them did but this but th this glove definitely um but as far as like which glove I'd say didn't take the longest to break in for sure was the Ryzen gloves. Uh, they didn't really need to break in at all. They came out perfect. Uh, you know, that's the one thing I'll say about it. But I think as far as like protection goes, I don't think you'll ever go wrong with this, which is why I wish you could have like a love child between these two. And that for me would be the perfect MMA glove. Uh, you know, that and maybe even if you put the power lock technology in. Okay, so what I would say is, I would love to have the inside lining, you know, like the, the Everlast, the Everdry material that they use, that nice, soft, it's like a dry fit pillow. It feels so good on, on the hands. Uh, I wish they had that, that, and it's really easy to get the glove in and out uh, with your wraps on, because sometimes the tape and the gauze will get stuck on the crappy material. Uh, and that's the one, I think, gripe about the PFL glove is that this isn't necessarily rough, but it is a bit, uh, you know, more coarse than this and then especially the Asami glove which has that synthetic material on the inside like a lot of other Asami gloves have. Uh, the other thing that I wish I'd see is Asami has the individualized fingers though it has a bar that connects them at the top. I wish you kind of had that with this too. I wish you had like individual finger slits when it came to this but I think as far as having a big wrist strap that's the best concept and the other thing that I love about MMA gloves if you watched uh, the in-depth part is when they open like this that way when you put your hand in you know I got the wrong hand uh, that way when you put your hand in especially when you have your coach he can strap it up tight and you can adjust it a lot easier than you could with one even with rising with 
their elastic strap here. You know, and the elastic strap is good, but the thing is, if I have a huge pad on my hand, you know, and then I have to stretch this out, and then I have to pull it, and it's gonna wear it out, especially if I'm using it for training, you know, stuff like that. That and this glove, it definitely pushes up enough to have padding, uh, more padding, but then you have to strap this a little bit more, and it's a bit annoying, whereas this, kind of has the wrist support of like a boxing glove and it almost has like the same hand size compartment so you can wrap your hands without worrying about it and then look like i said you can open and close your hand nice and easy in these these both have good grips but one thing i said i don't know why isami has like a rubber thing at the back of it because i worry that could also cut someone um, the other thing I, I would say about this is, uh, and you can even see I'm resting my hand and my fingers are down just like these. Uh, the other thing I'll say about these is just, you can just feel the wrist support hugging the back of your hand. The one thing I wish uh, all pro fight gloves had, I don't know why they don't, amateur gloves do. I wish they had a thumb guard. And the reason why is just because I don't think there's a reason for the tape. If the tape is not exposed for every single one of your fingers but your thumb, for me, that makes no sense. So I would definitely put a thumb guard on. I think you definitely see, you know, a guy like Steven Wonderboy Thompson who breaks his thumb every single fight. Definitely would be something to do. But I think if you had like the contour, I'd say I'd say what would make the perfect glove. If you had the contour of the power lock, the padding, uh, you know, the, the contour of the power lock, the padding, the high density foam padding of the rising glove, and then the wrist support and the bracketing system on the back that the PFL by Century has, you'd have the perfect fight glove. And then I would also add a thumb guard. Because once again, if everything's taped, why you know why expose my thumb to it? Especially if the tape can come loose, especially after grap grappling. I don't care how good of a hand wrapper you are, I see thumbs come loose everywhere. Whether it be the UFC, Bellator, you know, your local show, thumb tape comes off all the time. You'll lash your guy with it, you get it in their eye. It's not never a good thing. You got cut it in between the round or something like that. But I love this. As far as the wrist support goes, I love hitting the mitts with these, the bags with these. They're very comfortable. This is my favorite glove. But that would be my ideal combination, once again, would be the contour of the Everlast Power Lock, the padding of the Ryzen Glove, the finger compartment of the Ryzen Glove as well, and then it would be the wrist support and size of the PFL Sentry Glove. I don't think this is a bulky glove. I think if you tried it on, you'd definitely like it a lot more. It's the same size as your MMA sparring glove, only in fight glove shape, which is cool. Uh, but overall, guys, that was the project. You know, I, I really wanted to do that for a long time. It cost a lot of money to get all these gloves, but I got it done, you know, saved up for a while and got it done. Overall, uh, you know, I'm happy I did it and I hope I could kind of give people an idea if you're ever looking into using these or maybe even when you go to fight in one of these promotions one day, don't forget to watch this video and think, huh, this guy said this about these gloves. I want to make sure that this works out that way, you know. Uh, so definitely, uh, guys, you know, give me a like, comment, subscribe. I'd love uh, for you to follow my journey more on the channel. Uh, you know, hopefully I, I start my pro career soon. Uh, so hopefully one day I'll be in one of these gloves. Uh, you know, you never know. But um, that's definitely something that's a goal of mine right now. But I really appreciate you uh, watching. If you have any questions, of course, comment below. I'd love to shoot uh, shoot some ideas off you and have you shoot some ideas off me. Uh, if you have if you have uh, anything to add about these gloves, of course, add them in the comments below. Maybe you have experiences of using one of these that are drastically more different than mine. You know, every glove is not made exactly the same. Uh, but with that said, guys, follow me on my Instagram, message me on social media, I'm trying TikTok out, that's kind of going weird, uh, you know, so I'm giving that a shot, but uh, for sure, message me on Instagram, comment below, like, comment, subscribe, it goes a whole long way to help the channel. All right, guys, with that said, that was my dream project with combat sport equipment. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.